Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, the old clock says it's five o'clock. Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. We're letting the hair down today, guys. Y'all may have noticed yesterday's beer review, one side of the humidor and the lights out on it. Hey, quit working. Yeah, I think there's a fuse boat in there. So, of course, it's a special fuse and you have to order it and it takes however long to get it. So, uh, that side, each side is independent, uh, so that side is not functioning right now, so uh, got to deal with that. I've ordered the fuses, so hopefully we'll have them in a couple days. Anyway, back to the beer. This is Tilted Barn Brewing's Daffodil, and this comes to me by the way of my beer brother Greg and his most recent beer melt package. And I am so thankful for because I didn't I ain't had any beer to review for three weeks or more. So we got we got a few to go through here, so it, it's a pleasure. And guys, hopefully it's gonna gonna pick back up and we'll get to hopefully doing more. It's just tight time for this guy right now. So let's get on with this one. Uh, he writes, uh, you got it at the brewery, and he says it's a fairly decent summer beer from them. So uh, this is a pale ale, guys. Uh, it's a six percenter, and uh, of course, uh, Tilted Barns up in Rhode Island. And Untapped says Daffodil is the third release in our 2022 flower series. This pale ale is brewed with Pilsner malt, which is a lighter malt, like the lagers Pilsners have, uh, malted white wheat, and flaked oats for an amazingly soft body and beautiful straw colored appearance. Uh, hop with Galaxy, Laurel, and Hallertau Blanc, and, and the Hallertau, that's more of a, Euro, that's a European hop uh, that are used for lagers and pilsner beers. Uh, uh, it's more of a flowery, herbal, earthy, uh, rather than grapefruit, piney, oranges, and all that stuff. So, it says Daffodil is welcoming and bright profile is a perfect match for the warm spring days ahead. So. Basically, what they're saying, it's a lighter drinking beer, pool beer, beach beer. Uh, I don't want to jump on that bandwagon and say lawnmower beer because I usually like to reserve those for the five percenters, around the five percenters or less. Uh, once you get up to six and stuff, uh, it's kind of hard to call that a lawnmower beer, but I guess that depends on your perspective. Some people may say that a ten percenter is a lawnmower beer. So it's all of what you're used to drinking and, and all that kind of stuff, guys. So let's get on with this one. Uh, this one has a date on the bottom of it. says Razor Barn, and it looks like it's kind of smeared the first two digits. It looks like it's March something 2022. Uh, I, can't, I can't make out the second digit on it, guys. So I'm pretty sure it's a fairly new release. Uh, and he picked it up at the brewery, so uh, not going to get a whole lot of pressure than picking stuff up at the brewery. Doesn't go through any distribution chains or shipping or any of that kind of stuff. So, kind of hazy, kind of cloudy. Definitely doesn't look like a pilsner or a lager. It's, it's cloudier than I thought it was going to be, guys. I thought it was going to be slightly hazy and, uh, and all that. So, man, that's an awesome color to that beer. Finger and a half of head. That looks like orange juice. My gosh, that's a yeah. That is a, definitely a New England style in the appearance for a pale ale. That's awesome looking pale ale right there. Mm hmm. Through the nose we go. I got flowers in my hair. Kind of get down on me. Oh, that's got a very very pleasant aroma. 
that's got more hot presence than I anticipated with this particular. I guess the Galaxy, which is a Southern Hemisphere hop, Laurel, uh, are bringing that to the table. The Howard Tau, you're not going to get a lot of, like I said, uh, peach and mango and pine and all that kind of stuff. It's more, more of a more subtle hop. But to me, uh, the Galaxy and the Laurel are shining through. Nice citrusy, maybe a little grapefruit and oranges. Maybe even some tropical fruit notes. I mean, it's got a very, very pleasant aroma. Very surprised. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Greg. Thank you, sir. Very nice. Very, very tasty. Very enjoyable. Kilted Barn makes some very, very tasty beers. And for a six percenter, I think this is very well done. Uh, a very, very hoppy, even though it's got Howard Tau in it. So we're getting a little bit of that earthy, floral, herbal, along with your grapefruit, pineapple, oranges there. So, very nice. Very nice. Guys, I would definitely consider this a New England style pale ale. Okay. It looks like it. Tastes like it. I like it. Let's go sip on it. Be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Nice slicing of left on the glass. Tasty beer, guys. <clears throat> I'm not surprised that it's a good beer from Tilted Barn, but uh, from the description and the pictures that I'm looking at on Untap, this one looked a little juicier, a little thicker orange juice. I mean, the picture I'm looking at here, it looks hazy and cloudy, but it doesn't look to the orange juice like I have here. So, uh, definitely a winner, guys. Uh, six percenter, so it's not quite as heavy as a, a double IPA or a double, I don't know, if they, do they make a double pale ale? I'm not even sure about that. Uh, that's a good question. I just thought of that. A double pale ale. I don't know if I've ever had a double pale ale. Maybe I have. Anyway, very tasty. I'm sure. Very nice. Very impressive beer to me, guys. Uh, ABVs on it, dates on it. Super tasty beer. A nice, different combination of hops to produce this beer. I enjoyed it, guys. To me, uh, it's an A beer. I'm gonna give it A minus. Uh, 90. I'm going to give this A minus just into the A minus scale. For a pale ale, I think it's a very, very tasty, well done beer. Uh, we don't have a, a grade from Beer Advocate. Uh, and 177 people have commented on Untapped, and they give it a 4.07. So, worthy. So, it's, it's into the A scale from these guys, and it's the A scale from me, too. So, uh, Definitely worthy of uh, uh, picking it up and giving it a try if you can get your hands on it. A lot of these guys are not in the vicinity of these breweries that don't distribute it. I mean, uh, we're we're pretty much out of the out of the, the ball game there uh, unless you can get your hands on it. So, with that being said, if you've had Daffodil from Tilted Barn Brewery, let me know what you think. I enjoyed it. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.